Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Kapu card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card who is six foot three, medium, medium work rates, right footed, three star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, in regards to the boost that EA actually ended up giving him from the uh, video that we were talking about yesterday, they improved him in the exact way that I thought that they would improve him at, right? So uh, with this card, six foot three, medium, medium work rates, right footed, three star, three star. This is a card that you mainly want to use in the defensive positions. Yes, this card has the 88 attacking positions, but it is a card that you want to unlock mostly to play in that CDM position. Why? Because with this card in game, guys, he's working with a six foot three height and a high and average plus body type, right? So you do have to take that into consideration consideration when it comes to using midfielders in this game it's going to be the type of card that you know you're probably going to want to use again as a defensive oriented player but if he's given an opportunity to attack or he gets into a certain uh, position at a certain time then he can shoot the ball when given the opportunity to right it's a card that can pass the ball well shoot the ball well for a midfielder it's just the dribbling to work with the height and uh it's the height and the body type that you know, makes you want to use him more as a CDM more than anything in the world, right? So 4 one 2 and 2 CDM, uh, you know, having him in a 4 2 3 one as one of the CDMs, stuff like that, right? Because this card on a Shadow Chemistry saw, guys, is actually going to be improved to an 89 for acceleration, 84 for sprint speed with really, really good defensive stats, right? So again, if I overcommit him, I expect his defending to be as good as possible. Uh, this card also has some pretty decent physical stats. So if you're going body to body against someone, could be a cool thing to work with because he's six foot three high and average plus body type right so um yeah the card is a good all-round midfielder but more in the defensive aspect you know what i'm saying it's not like a card like uh in kunku with Nkunku, he's a lean body type with good dribbling stats so the way that he attacks and defends it's more agile i would say and it's honestly for the meta of the game more of a personal preference but with kapu in game guys we are going to be trying him out in the cdm position for the four two three one uh, we're going to be playing him like this, right? So right center defenseman position with four of the different instructions just to see what he's like attacking and defensive wise, right? So cut pass lane, stay back while attacking, free roam, and cover center is going to be the instructions for him. So let's see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. By the way, guys, uh, big support on the um, the conversation videos. I'm glad that you guys like them that much. That's That's really awesome to see. Legrand switch with the weak foot. Not bad, not bad. I feel like his passing stats will actually be pretty solid. I don't think that's going to be like a huge problem with him. It'll pass off here. I'm going to pass. I'm going to go up here with Mbappe. Remember, I have the free roam instruction on to see what their attack is like from time to time. I don't want to press anything here. I just want to see how he defends. I'm gonna do this here. Edge of the 18 yard box. Let's switch to him there. Oh, I didn't even have to switch that. The height is probably gonna be super helpful with him from time to time. His positioning, like I said, guys, for medium medium, if it's stay back while attacking, it's not terrible. Like I just don't recommend it in a center mid position, right? For 4-4-2 or anything like that. Try a switch here again. Yeah, well weighted. Oh. And Kunku's registration to it was a little strange, though. Yeah, I don't want to touch anything here, so I want to do I want to do this. I want to do this, push him out, take him out. All right, control this guy here. Yeah, his track back is actually pretty fast. So defensively, that's pretty good so far. All right, so green time finesse. Very good, very good. Don't touch him. I'm gonna go here, go here. Auntie, I'm gonna push here. Block this here. I don't mind his um I don't mind his marking so far. For a medium medium work rate of player, like the way that he kind of lingers outside the 18, I don't mind it at all. The dribbling you have to work with a little bit, but as a more defensive oriented player that you're probably gonna keep more in the CDM area, it's not terrible. Oh, no interception there. The registration was a little bit off for sure. I'm gonna commit this guy forward. Commit this guy here. Great marking. That's fantastic, actually. So if I overcommit my center back, he'll actually go into that center back area. Don't mind that whatsoever. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the dribbling guys, because of the high and average plus body type, uh, you do definitely notice that. So you can even tell from that first initial touch that he's definitely going to be something that you have to uh, you have to look at when using this card. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not against his marking. I'm going to switch this guy here. Make that pass there. See the middle spot here. Switch to him there. Yeah, so a situation like that, obviously, having the height, very important. But it's not only just the height, guys. It's with the interceptions, too, that is uh, is helpful. That was a white time there, but he still smacks it. <laughs> a little bit of manual defending here. I'm going to chase after this guy. Touch that. Shield backwards. Ah, oh. I try to get like a, an aggressive tackle there. Didn't really work out. Uh, yeah, so when you're manually using him defensively, uh, you definitely notice the body type with the way that his dribbling is set up for sure. Some good interception there again. Just have to block the passing lane. What's crazy is that, like, you can definitely tell that um, the little combination play between him and Conte, like, Conte obviously has the work rates that he has when it comes to him tracking back. Oh, you actually won that header. Nice. Go back here, go back here. A little quick dribblaze. I'm going to actually force him here. No! What, a, what registration is this, my friend? My friend? This is just... It's just not a card I would ever want to attack, especially with that body type. But look, look at his tracking, right? Uh, there's that passing lane there. Pretty solid. Switch to him now. Push downwards, use his physical. Nice. Oh, nice. Also from Second Man Press, too. We'll take that interception. We're going to force him on the run here. A little dribblaze. I'm going to actually call him back so he doesn't overcommit like crazy. There he is in the attack. Guys, his tracking is really good. When you don't actually manually use him for defending like okay like let's just say for instance you see a certain space right if you're using his manual accelerations with the sprint speed yeah you're gonna notice the body type but if you let his ai get into those positions it's actually not terrible look like i overcommit him forward but his track back is actually solid man Slide tackle get up is actually pretty fast. Look, so I'm not using him, right? No second man press, nothing. Gets back into position well enough. Let me just mark the general area, right? Tackle. Mark the area again. Switch. Right? Like, you don't want to overcommit and actually specifically run with him into certain areas, you know? Oh, managed to get that at least. Nice. Nice. Good challenge. That's his reach right there, because of how tall he is. See, when in situations like that, don't use him. Then you can use him, right? Block that area there. Use Conte, switch to Kapu. Like, don't, don't run manually with him. Just let him go back. Oh, almost got the challenge there. Oh, have been good. Not using him again. And he's a center back here We're on switch. I'm actually so surprised that gameplay is good during the during the daytime. Like I can actually play this and enjoy it. It's crazy. Oh, track back is good again there. He should have got that initial interception, but that's what I'm saying though. Like you notice that body type with the way that his dribbling is set up for sure. So again, nothing here. Just gonna use Conte, right? Gonna switch to Conte's position here. Capoe's already back in position. Now we switch to him here, right? We block this middle area, defend normally.
See, he gets involved in the attack from time to time, obviously, because the attacking position. Don't worry, bro. The it factor is here. And Pepe just has like uh, he has that like magnet. He, ha he has everything, bro. For a CDM, he has everything. Um, who was this? Is that Mukiele? I don't. Mukiele probably has like really poor passing. Well weighted pass again. Other side. Good first time pass. The thing is, guys, is that because I'm giving him that free roam instruction, that's where he'll like attack from time to time. But if you take off the free roam instruction and you just let his AI get into the right positions at the right time, then it's not a terrible CDM to use, to be fair. Right? Don't actually manually sprint speed back with him, right? Let him do it himself. You block the rest. He'll still be around that general area. Quick little left stick touches. The ground switch again. Nice. Okay, so he's kind of out of it here. It was a bit aggressive there in that situation. So yes, I obviously blocked that with him TT. Oh, he's got to intercept that. Oh, but makes a challenge there. I obviously blocked that with him TT. But do you see how fast he tracks back there without me actually controlling him? It's good, man. It's not bad. I just don't think he has like this uh, special, this guy's a brick wall defensive thing, you know, like with, um, I guess the comparison's kind of like Patrick Vieira, but I haven't tried Patrick Vieira this year, but every single year, Patrick Vieira just has this like brick wall thing about him, you know, like every, he just has interception animations constantly, like, you know. See how I pushed him out? He's faster if he just goes back himself, man. Oh, he puts a little bit of pressure on him. I let go of him because I actually I wanted him to actually just receive the ball himself, you know. Good interception again. His swing is like hard to work with because of his body type, right? Like that real quick. Yeah, interception is good. You just don't want to you don't actually want to use him too much. You only want to use him when it makes sense in the area where you don't have to push him too far out, you know? Very nice. We'll take that. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Kapu card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, the Shadow Chemistry style definitely makes the most sense. Uh, the things that you definitely notice with this card, guys, is that, again, he's definitely going to be more of a defensive-oriented card. He's a type of card, because of the way that his pace and his body type and his height is set up, you don't want to manually use him too much, right? Like with a card like Conte, you could just accelerate left, right, sprint after a guy, and you can feel that agility with the card. With Kapu, he's a type of dude where you only want to defend with him when it makes sense through those middle positions. So when you're defending, obviously when you're switching between both of the CDMs or center back to CDM, this card will actually mark the area of the pitch really well, regardless of the fact that he has the medium medium work rates. Yes, he has 88 attacking positioning, but you don't really want to attack with a card like this guy. Six foot three, high and average plus body type. It's a card that you want to unlock mostly to play in that CDM position that can offer you an extra attacking support if the opportunity presents itself. But the main focus of the card like this is going to be uh, defensive capabilities, right? So do I think that Kapu has that it factor, those crazy animations like someone like Kampempe does for defensive stuff? I don't. But if it's a car that you want to unlock to get some French links in your league, because guys, the biggest variable, variable right now is having a defensive oriented midfielder that plays for this league, okay? Because EA, they're going to be careful with cards like this, right? They're not going to drop like a crazy medium high French player out of nowhere uh because with this card Liga Santander French uh if we go to the midfielders right there's not much to work with the Kapu is the only card at 67k and then the other card is Camavinga right so and Camavinga is a little bit different because Camavinga is a player who's high high work rates pushes forward comes back that kind of stuff right this card actually doesn't look too bad on a shadow chemistry style as well but that's the point that I'm trying to make, right? If Kamavinga is that box to box push forward, come back. Kapu is going to be the guy that you want to get if you actually want to play him mainly in that CDM position, but you're not often manually using him too much because you do feel that body type with the pace that he has. So 
the price of the SBC is not crazy bad, to be fair, especially for some crazy for some crazy links you can work with from the Liga Santander. So I'm not completely against the price for an SBC. Uh, it's just not a card that I would personally do myself. Um, but yeah, he's still pretty solid in the CDM position, guys. Like I said, the way I defend for the reviews is for the reviews. So that's not how I would defend normally, right? So it's a card that will be in the right position at the right time most of the times if you don't aggressively push out with him yourself. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.